Reading stoves offer the flexibility of running the stoves off of a power vent. Uh, power vent uh, is a motorized venting system that was developed for natural gas furnaces. And since anthracite burns as clean as uh, natural gas, it's been approved to run your anthracite units. Now, part of that system requires a thermal overload sensor. So if for some reason the power vent would quit running, now your stove's not being vented properly and you need, it needs to be shut off until, you, uh, until the owner can uh, maintain it and get it back running. The way you reset the thermal sensor on the sensing tube, this is in the stove. You have hot gases coming back through the tube since there's no uh, ventilation on the unit and there's a thermal sensor inside this that when it feels that heat it opens up and breaks the power circuit to the feeder on the uh, Reading anthracite stove. So you got the problem solved, whatever it is, now it's time to reset the thermal sensor. Inside this hole there's a little reset button to close the thermal sensor back up after it's been tripped for whatever reason. Uh, when your power bank quits venting the stove that heat will move back out of the tube and into the box and open that thermal sensor. So you just put a, a rod right down in the hole and push and you'll hear that button or kind of feel that button reset itself. And now you've closed the circuit back up and it'll feed the electricity from your receptacle over into your uh, feeder. All this is is a thermal switch. Your, your electric comes off of your receptacle or power strip, goes through here, and you plug your feeder into this end of the cord to uh, feed the coal into the stove. Hello, I want to welcome you to the section on how to start up an automatic feed stove. This is a Redding Lehigh model. The Redding Lehigh model uh, is very similar to the other Redding stoves, so once you see how this unit starts up, it, you'll be able to start the other models up just as easily. Matter of fact, a lot of your automatic anthracite uh, units can be uh, very similar to, in, to on startup. And this is the hopper. Okay, we just pour the coal directly into the hopper. Fill the hopper up once a day. The automatic feed system will keep feeding and keep the fire going all the time. Now we've got the hopper full. Next thing will be to start the fire. One of the first things you do is you've got to fill the burner up with coal. Just go behind the stove, grab the carpet plate. And jiggle it until you hear the coal going in the pan. This is your starter block. Burns at a very high temperature. Put it on the cast iron burner. Shove it up to where the top air holes start. Right in about this area here. Make sure you've got a half inch or more of coal on top of the burner. Then you light it. Close the door quickly. Once you see it flash, now you're ready to start the stove up. Go to your rheostat feed, or if you have a thermostat, whatever type of control system you have, you turn it on so it's at maximum feed. Not so much for the feed, but for the maximum airflow. The air coming up through the starter is what builds the temperature up to get the carbon in the anthracite lit. Carbon burns at a very high temperature. As a result of that, you have to have something uh, to light it, to get it going at a high temperature. On this speed control, or rheostat, it's a little bit different than normal. Off is past high, like that. 
and you turn it on by rotating back to high and as you rotate it all the way around to low it does not shut off you have to come back up to high and then keep rotating it till it clicks off now on startup you want the maximum amount of air so you keep the speed at high all right now that we've have our starter block lit it's been burning for a couple minutes you can see that the coal's already catching on fire and that fire will continue to spread across the whole burner um, and then after it burns up all the coal on the burner it'll settle down in about an hour band the fire based on the feed rate coming in and we'll come back later and show you that again notice no smoke and basically no smell very very clean just as clean as natural gas on this unit here we have bottom draft going straight through the wall hooked up to a power vent The power vent is a motorized venting system that was originally developed for natural gas furnaces. Since the anthracite burns as clean as natural gas, this system is approved also for running anthracite stoves. Uh, this unit right here is attached directly to the flue on the stove. This is what we call our barometric damper. There's a weight setting, and we'll show you in detail how to set that later. But there's a weight setting on this that determines the draft pull that swings the door open. This is to keep from pulling too much draft and pulling the heat out of the stove. Then comes over, you cut a seven inch hole through the wall and slide your power vent in from the outside, then slide this flange up over it from the inside and you're installed. Bring your wiring in, plug it in, and set the speed control to give you the proper draft. And it's that simple. Obviously this unit gives you a lot of flexibility to locate your stove anywhere in your house where you would like it uh, as long as you have access to an outside wall to uh, mount your power bank power vent is much much cheaper than a chimney and obviously a lot more flexible. See now that the stove's been burning for a while that you have a band of fire. Length of that band can be increased down to within an inch of the edge and you as long as you maintain at least an inch of dead ash you're not wasting your coal. Once you start pushing the hot coal over the edge, then obviously you have the stroke up too high and you're wasting your coal. Again, you notice there's no smoke. And if you were here, you would notice there's no smell. So, a um, couple things about these stoves, some nice safety features. First of all, because there's no smoke, there's no chance of a flu fire. The other thing is, um, if you were to forget to put coal in the hopper and you would run out of coal, it, the fire will automatically go out just as a result of not being able to feed any more coal to it. But there's no chance of a hopper fire uh, as a result of uh, running out of coal in the hopper. And of course, on this unit here with the power vent, there's the safety feature that if the power vent were to quit running the heat will come back up the tube on the heat sensor open up the switch and shut the feeder down so you don't have to worry about that so if for whatever reason uh, something would happen to the stove it'll shut itself down um, and there won't be any any safety issues okay key stoker uh, manufactures stoves, hot air furnaces, and boilers. 
they're one of the few companies that manufactures a boiler. This unit here is an automatic, thermostatically controlled anthracite boiler. The operation consists of putting coal in the hopper once a day, burns rice coal, has an automatic feeder system that kicks on based on the thermostat, pushes the coal down into the boiler, into the combustion chamber where the coal is burnt on a heavy cast iron burner, air is blown in the bottom and up through the holes to, for the combustion, and after the coal's done burning, it keeps feeding and drops off into the ash pan. Generate your heat up into the combustion chamber. This area here is the water jacket. Gases go up and around the water jacket and out the exhaust. Also offers the option of a domestic coil for heating your domestic hot water uh, a lot more economical than electric or gas. Um, thermostatic controlled bonnet on or bonnet on there for the hot water system ash door where you pull your ashes out once a day the efficiency of this unit's over 80 percent very similar to a modern oil furnace and a lot more economical to run